Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at estampabub.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today in the One Stamp at a Time blog hop, we were challenged with a tic-tac-toe board. And in each square of the tic-tac-toe board were products that we need to use to make our cards. We had products like ribbon, coloring, heat embossing, embellishments, DSP, twine, flowers, burlap, and wood. And I chose the bottom row of the tic-tac-toe with the flowers, burlap, and wood to make this card. It's an easy card using the Stampin' Blends. I just love coloring with those. Let's get started and I'll show you how I did it. So we're going to be using the Blended Seasons Bundle for this beautiful floral card. And I have to say that I've really had a lot of fun with this bundle. I do have an online class coming out on August 25th that will be available when you purchase the bundle from me with a couple other products. You will get the class for free, otherwise the class will be $25. And I'll have more details coming out on my blog um, in the very near future. Here are the Stitched Seasons Framelits, and I have cut all of these out so you can see exactly what they are. This is a wonderful bundle of framelits, and I love the stitched edges on all three of these shapes. They do nest together. So that's pretty fun. And then your negative that's left over from these also has the stitching. So I've got some fun projects coming up with that also. Okay, let me set these aside. And I'm just going to bring in my cardstock layers here. I've got a piece of petal pink. This is four and a quarter by 11, and I've scored it at five and a half. I'm just going to burnish the edge good. And then I've got a piece of our Wood Textures Designer Series paper. This wood paper is gorgeous. If you haven't seen this paper before, here it is. And it is absolutely beautiful. All of these are wood textures. Some are antiqued. Some, we have some white. We have these, like a tree trunk, that's pretty cool, and the ends of logs. So this is some gorgeous, gorgeous designer series paper, wood textures. Comes in a six by six pack. That's what we're gonna we're, That's what we're gonna be using for our card today. And then I have a piece of Whisper White scrap. I'm gonna bring in my piercing mat so I can do some stamping right away. I'm gonna use the smallest stitched seasons framelit to cut out an image and I'll be right back. Okay, here's our framelit. We're going to use that for the greeting on our card. And then the rest of this piece I'm going to use to stamp some flowers on. So if you have, if this is your first time to my um, videos, I do have more projects on my blog using this stamp set with these flowers. I have some great techniques that I've done with it. Um, and I'm gonna have some cards coming up that I have made to share with you where I've used some of the other elements in the stamp set because I've mostly been concentrating on these flowers because, well, you know, it's August and I feel flowery. So here comes the Stampin' Blends. This is the Dark Petal Pink. And I'm just going to come in here and put some shading on the center of my flowers. And then I'm going to bring, that was the dark, now I'm coming in with the light and now I'm just going to blend that shading so that you don't see where those lines end, not so abruptly. And that's one of the things I love about these alcohol markers is that they blend so beautifully not like coloring with magic markers that are scribbly and childish looking. And that's my opinion, and I am entitled to it. <laughs> okay, there's my beautiful flower. I'm leaving the center white. Then I'm going to come in with the dark, soft sea foam. And this is just a really subtle green. And I'm just going to put some shading marks on my leaves. 
I'm only going to show you coloring, um, the coloring of one flower and one set of leaves here because all the other flowers are colored the same. You don't need to watch me do that, right? I don't want to take up your time with something that you don't need to see. There we go. Isn't that just so pretty? It's very, very pretty. Then what I did, I colored, you know, all of these flowers and I took my paper snips and through the magic of TV, I already have them cut out. So you don't need to watch me do that. Now with this piece, I am going to bring in one of our pearlized doilies, the flowers. And then this piece that we die cut, we are going to stamp that with one of the friendly expressions images. And I love the font on these. This is a great little set. And I'm going to use the You Make Me Proud stamp because I have a lot of people in my life that I can send this card to. And of course you can put any greeting you want on yours. Just going to stamp that right in the middle with my Memento ink. Remember you have to use Memento ink if you're going to use the Stampin' Blend alcohol markers. That is the ink pad that you must have. So once I have this done, I'm going to bring in just a little piece of our burlap ribbon. Part of my challenge today for the One Stamp at a Time blog hop was a tic-tac-toe pattern. So there's a tic-tac-toe pattern and it has different products in each of the squares. I chose the tic-tac-toe that has flowers, burlap, and wood. So here's my burlap, here's my wood, and here are my flowers. That's how I came up with this card. That's what inspired me to make this. I am going to take some mini glue dots to adhere my burlap to the front of my wood layer. And you're just going to see that peeking out underneath the rest of the card. So I've got a lot of things that are going to be happening here. Then I'm going to come in with my doily and my doily is going to go right here. So I am just going to grab a piece of tape here and I'm going to just tape my doily down. And if you want to, you can add a little bit of glue to the back here. I don't think it's going to go any place, but let's just do that. We'll just add a little bit of glue right here. Whoops, that goes right on the burlap. That's not going to stick very good, you guys. Let's put some glue where it's going to stick. There we go. Okay, that'll help hold our doily down. Then we're going to take some dimensionals, because why wouldn't you? Dimensionals make everything fabulous, don't they? I know I love them and use a lot of them. Put your fingernail in the middle to pop those edges up and your backings will come off much easier. Maybe. Don't make a liar out of me now. Here comes... All right, whoops, I need to move this over just a touch. So let's see if I can pop that up. Mm, nope, we're going to leave it right there. It's not going to pop up. I'm just going to add this right here. And then I'm going to come in with these flowers. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the edges here. Who doesn't love flowers and wood? I think it's just so, so pretty. A little bit of glue on that petal so we can put one right down here. Here comes our wood piece added to our petal pink card base. Oh my gosh, I love, love, love this. Then I've got one more thing to show you. I'm going to clean off my flower stamp using my chamois. If you guys don't have one of these chamois yet, I know I sound like a broken record. You have to get one. You can go right to my online store. At the end of the video, you'll find a link right up 
in this top right corner that will take you right there. And you can do a search for chamois and you will find the chamois. They are the most amazing stamp cleaner ever. I am so impressed with them. All right, here's the last thing that we're gonna do. We are going to stamp our envelope to match. So I've just got a piece of typing weight paper here, copier paper, and I am going to pop the flap into the fold here. This is the way I like to do this. It works really good. And I am going to stamp the flowers on my envelope flap to match my card. And doesn't that look beautiful? It's so spectacular. So there we go. We've got a gorgeous card here. Using the Blended Seasons Bundle, this is only available until the end of August. And you've got spring, summer, um, fall in here with the wheat and leaves, and also Christmas. And just some beautiful, beautiful fonts and greetings in here. This is a fabulous, versatile bundle of products that I am so happy to have in my library of supplies. Now make sure you stop back by tomorrow because I'm going to show you another card made with the stamp set and the wood background and I think you're really going to like it. It's a pretty nifty idea using this Blended Seasons bundle. Thanks you guys so much for taking a little time out of your day to spend with me. Please continue on the blog hop where you can see what everybody else made using the tic-tac-toe product list. If you click right up here in the top right corner, that's going to take you to my blog where you will find a list that you can click on to go to the next blog and then the next blog. It's a blog hop. They're a lot of fun. Subscribe down here to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. You certainly don't want to miss the ideas that I'm going to make that is similar to this card, but different. It's a pretty nifty idea. Have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.